What's up, YouTube? We are back in the shop with the Red 84 Trans Am today. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this gas tank shoved back up underneath this car so I can uh, possibly get the rear uh, axle back up in its proper location. I got this other pan hard bar here that's out of uh, Project Snowball. We're gonna go ahead and put it on because this one is rather bent. So we'll go ahead and put that on while we're putting it back together. I got new brake lines for the center brake hose and I believe the passenger brake hose, whichever one of these has a brake hose because one of them's hard lined, uh, hooked. And that's this one that's hard lined, hooked in. So we'll get two new, the two new rubber lines on the back that needs to be there. And then I'd like to, I don't think I'm gonna get it all done tonight. I'd just like to get the tank back up in its hole tonight. And, uh, then I'd like to get this side, uh, backing plate, rotor, all that stuff in, because I have another project coming down the pipeline, and I got a couple other things I want to come in and out and do some quick projects and get some stuff wrapped up. Uh, so I think this car is going to get moved over to the paint booth where Snowball was finished up. Uh, if I get this other header wrapped, which I'd like to get this done too, if I get the other header wrapped and stuff, I can go ahead and set the engine in the car hopefully for the last time i'd like to get it rolling so possibly i can wash this engine bay out a little bit too that'd be kind of nice get that cleaned up a bit but my main plan is to get everything all the brakes uh lines replaced and stuff get brakes on it functional brakes gotta put the steering column back in i got a new steering shaft and stuff so we'll probably get that stuff put in uh, but the biggest thing tonight is i want to put this tank in so i'm gonna try to squeeze this tank in and hopefully it'll go. And hopefully my uh, JB Well tank patch works. We'll see. Okay. So it's been about two weeks since I did a previous part of that video. I haven't got a lot of stuff done. I did the welding cart and stuff. That's what it looks like with the bottle on it. But anyways, I got the rear axle back up underneath the car. Got it all bolted in. Use the pan hard bar from uh, Snowball. I haven't done any of the brakes. I still gotta get the replacements, uh, tie rod in, or not tie rod. So our end links, to swap in there. Uh, I went ahead and dug out the steering column. I gotta clean it up. And then I got this new replacement steering shaft, which should slide onto this here. And then go onto the gearbox. So hopefully, we can get this on correctly and have a straight steering wheel and I'm hoping that'll be a lot nicer than the uh, rotten rag joint that this car has so I'm going to go ahead and clean the steering column up uh, work on getting that old steering shaft out of there and work on getting a steering column in this car and then I got to pack some bearings and put this uh, rotor hub well rotor hub back on this side and all that and get the little wood calipers mounted up and then it can actually get put back down on the ground i can wheel it outside i got some rollers got they're way too small or like the 295s not too bad. they're 195s i believe this one's a little low but not too bad yeah 195 60 15s i got a set of four of those on the stock uh firebird wheels so I'll probably put those on the car just to get it in and out and have it to be rolling. So I will put all the brakes and stuff together, bleed them, get everything on the ground, then I can roll outside and just at least clean this engine bay up a little bit, make it look a little nicer just so I don't feel bad about stuffing all this nice pretty stuff, well, semi-le pretty stuff in this engine bay. And I, I just don't want to get deal with all the grease and grime and crap anyways. So I'm going to wash it off and make it a little nicer so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and clean up the steering shaft not steering shaft this column a little bit and uh possibly put the new ignition switch in it because i tore out the old one i got a new one somewhere i think in that box down there so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do that and we'll cut you guys back on in one second when we make a little bit of progress well i got the shaft in there that was an act of congress uh i couldn't get the end on the steering shaft out of the 85. So I was like, well, we'll see if it's on the 84, the factory steering shaft out of this car. 
it uh, slid right on that one. So I don't know what the deal was. I ended up just uh, cleaning that off with emery cloth and I finally attacked it with my flap disc on my little uh, die grinder and cleaned it up and got it on there. Had to smack it on with the brass punch, but it's on there nice and tight and everything. The set screws are through it. Set, lock tight, and then the lock nuts are locked down. So should be pretty good. I'm fairly, uh, fairly happy with the steering too. I'm fairly certain it's pretty close to being centered. I just gotta go ahead and put the uh, brake master cylinder back on there and bolt it down. Then pack some wheel bearings and do the other side. But I think I'm gonna wait and do that another day because I'm tired. So I'm push this project off another day and get there. So one of these days I like to get it to a roll, like I said, so I can clean this up so I can get the other header wrapped and then I can get it, uh, this engine back in the car. Because once the engine's in the car, it'll be a little bit easier to get stuff rolling, like the fuel lines, automatic transmission, cooler lines, and all that stuff. Get the UMI uh, cross member in there, get the torque arm back underneath it, and uh, have all that stuff done. So we'll catch you guys back on when we get a little farther. Well, as you can see, it's got wheels on it again and some really tiny roller tires, but yeah. I went ahead and got the silo packed, got all the uh, wheel calipers and stuff in, all the new stainless steel lines, or stainless steel brake lines. This factory uh, Trans Am wheel, Firebird wheel, the 15 inch one, does not fit with the wheel calipers without some sort of spacer. Right now I have about an eighth inch of stack of washers just to get it so I can roll it. Uh, and there's still plenty of thread engagement in the lug nuts, so I don't think there'll be a problem. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get a couple eighth inch spacers for the front, some shims. I think that'll be enough for it. Uh, pretty much has got it to the point now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna crawl underneath it yet and take uh, one of the uh, U-joint straps off because it keeps getting bound up when it rolls. But my plan is to get it down on the ground. I'm gonna get it out of the bay. I'm gonna clean the bay up, organize some stuff, parts, whatnot, just get it kind of cleaned up in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean the engine bay and get it all cleaned up. Still not 100% sure if this car is gonna come right back in here to be worked on. It may go out in line. I may put it next to my one, the white Trans Am Serrano or Snowball, whichever you wanna call it. I might put it next to her or somewhere. Uh, I'm not 100% sure yet what I'm doing with it. Uh, I would like to get it running and driving, obviously, at some point this year. But I have some other projects. I have some little projects. I have some stuff I want to put together and wrap up uh, here and there. So, you know, work. If all else fails, if I do want to tinker with this, I can move it over to the paint booth and work on it in there, too. So I did go ahead and yank the wiring loom out of it. Uh, still gotta wrap the one header. I mean, like I said, I just gotta clean and clean and clean in here. Organize some stuff. It's pretty much every vertical surface is a disaster. So I wanna get that all taken care of. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it down on the ground after I take that strap out and open these doors and roll it outside. Hopefully get it rolled outside relatively fast because I don't want to let all the air conditioning that's in this bay out into the back so we're gonna go ahead and uh i'm gonna go ahead and do that so I'll put you guys in the next one i'm gonna call it quits on it for this video uh got pretty got it back to a rolling chassis anyway so we'll call it quits and we'll catch you guys in the next one have a good rest of your day